so here we go again. Um, this decoration, it's the same from the past two videos because I haven't decorated yet for Christmas, but I'll do it, I'll do it soon and I'll show you how I decorate my house and how I put up my, my Christmas tree. So here I am for day three of Vlogmas 2019. I'm here with my Christmas jumper with a gingerbread band on it, which I love, um, which I love and everyone makes fun of me because um, I go out with it. I don't understand. This video is a little bit different from the two I already made that you saw. And if you haven't, I'll link them down here, but I made a playlist for Vlogmas 2019. Um, this, uh, today's video is about uh, how people celebrate Christmas in uh, all the parts of the world. Uh, so I got curious and I found uh, some like stories and traditions that come from all over the world and some of them are really funny, some of them are really cute, some of them are really sad too and um, I don't know, I thought it was really fun too and nice to know what people do in the other side, on the other side of the world and what we think it's normal for them it's actually, it's actually not. So there are some cute traditions and I'll start with Spain. In Spain they have a tradition about the cagatillo, uh, which is, um, which translated he is the uncle who poops. So they actually have a trunk uh, of wood and they carve it, they carve the inside and then every day until Christmas Day, they put in some chocolates, sweets, or little gifts, or whatever it, it, they, they want. And on Christmas Day, they cut the uh, back part of it, and everything comes, uh, come, comes off. That's why, it, that's, that's the reason behind um, its name. In Switzerland, we, they have the Klau Wow, or uh, I don't know if I pronounce it very, very well, sorry. Um, and it's actually a championship when, where um, people, um, people like uh, uh, dressed up as a Father Christmas battle out. Like, they have some different, different games. There, there is a race with the, um, with the, they have some challenges about who um, who builds a better uh, you know gingerbread house, which I saw a lot of people on YouTube do. But the funniest one is when they have to um, get on the chimney and just uh, release their gifts to the to the to the children and there is a winner of course they took it very 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 soon we have mexico um i would love to see this particular tradition during christmas during christmas because it is it is actually fun and it's even weird i would say in a positive way of course so uh, they have um, this tradition which is called which is called Noche de Rabanos. Again, I don't know if I pronounce it very if I pronounce it well. So sorry if you're <laughs> Mexican. And um, during this uh, during Christmas, they actually carve radish and um, and again here there is uh, someone who who wins. this is a long long tradition and they take it very 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 seriously and they the, the winner gets paid so probably this is why it doesn't end i'm just kidding of course it's uh, it's really something that they enjoy doing together as a community during christmas and we have iceland iceland has a tradition that i cannot even try to pronounce it's so 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 hard but um, it evolves around a black uh, a black cat they think a black cat actually um eats 
people who didn't receive or didn't gift something um, to wear for Christmas for Christmas Day, which just sounds not only weird but a little bit creepy because it's so like not Christmas for us. I mean, for us, Christmas is all about happiness and joy and bringing presents, and for them, this is a tradition that goes actually hunting people who don't get it something to wear as a gift or something or that they don't gift something to to wear which is to me it's r ridiculous but it's that weird so much weird it's too weird to, to even believe it so i just love it this is a tradition that has a backstory a historical backstory um because wool workers back in the um, 18th, 9th, 19th centuries had to uh, be faster working during this part of the year because in Iceland it's very cold and so they invented, they created this story to make them work really faster. We have Japan. Japan is, they, they're here, it's not a real tradition that I'm talking about, but uh, it's something that you will find really, really, really weird for us. And that's why they associate red has the color of death. So if you send to some of your friend that's from Japan a card with the roof of the reindeer on it, you actually you can be rude to them because they don't use red because um, they don't use red as, as, as a color for for Christmas or that's the tradition and uh, yeah this is very fun fact it's not really a tradition but it's very fun we have Philippines in Philippines there's not a real like tradition but they have a festival during uh, Christmas time which is the gigantic or huge lantern festival at first at first these were really really small and the during the years they got bigger and bigger and now they can be like uh, they can arrive to 60 centimeters of um, land or even more and a lot of them are, um, are decorated with lights and with uh, you know everything that sparkles or that is colored so that should be that that is I think that is one of the things that I would like to see in my in my life because it's a really colored festival it uh, it's a really colorful festival it's really funny and uh, you know great great way to see Christmas not only with the red and green or white but with the, a lot of colors I would love to see that in Ukraine they decorate Christmas trees with um, spider web and this is something that might be really weird for Christmas time uh, they do it on Christmas time they don't do it on Halloween time um, but there is a story behind it and it's a really cute and sad one. The story is about a mother, who, a single mother, who didn't uh, have money to buy Christmas tree decorations. So she couldn't do anything to make her children happy. They cried and these spiders who were moved by this reaction made with the spider web and the uh, tears and the tears um, of the kids, they made some Christmas decoration for the tree, they decorated the tree and then uh, when they woke up they found there's a beautiful beautiful Christmas tree so it's really really sad but at the same time it's a really nice <laughs> nice story, nice tradition even if, even, if, even if at first it might sound a little bit weird so last but not least we have Venezuela. People who live in Caracas on Christmas Day, on the morning Christmas Day, they go to church and that's a thing that we also do so it's not that strange. The strange part is they go there on the roller blades which is weird um, and 
no one knows why they do it they just probably want to have fun and probably that's something that you wouldn't you couldn't do um, in Iceland or you would fall down and they can do it I'm just kidding but um, this is a really fun and I just wanted to add it uh, to the to the list because I think it's uh, it's something that it, you know it's something traditional they do something traditional very similar to what we do but they do it in a fun way so it's really it's really great so guys this was the end of the third vlogmas video and i want you to write in the comments down below which one was your favorite my favorite one is probably um i think it's the spider web one in ukraine because it's sad but it's really uh, moving too so I really like it or the Mexican one Mexican one is also really 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 fun uh, so tell me what's your favorite what was your favorite and um, see you tomorrow bye